The new Ubuntu server has arrived and it promises to be the most cloud-friendly platform on the planet. Whether or not that is true has yet to be decided. However, what has been made crystal clear is that the installation of Ubuntu server has changed. Although the installation is still text-based, keeping it on the light side, there have been quite a few changes. Not only will you immediately notice a pretty drastic cosmetic change in the installer, there are a few additions that might cause an eyebrow or two to raise, not necessarily in a bad way. I want to walk you through the process of installing the latest iteration of Ubuntu Server. I'll highlight only those bits that are significant changes to the previous iterations of the platform. Although the installation might look a bit different, navigating the installation is the same. Use your keyboard arrow keys, the tab key, and the enter key. The first screen to reveal significant change is installation type. Here you get to choose from a standard installation or install two types of mass bare metal cloud installations. Screen four of nine will cause many to do a happy dance. You can finally configure network interfaces to use static IP addresses. During the installation, you are prompted to create a new user. In this screen, you can also import an SSH identity from either GitHub or Launchpad. If you opt to import those keys, they will be automatically added to your SSH authorized keys file. The installation will complete fairly quickly. When it finishes, you'll be prompted to reboot and you're ready to start working with your very cloud-friendly server platform. Although the interface is different for the installation with the exception of a few screens, the process should be quite familiar. The developers have done a great job of making the Ubuntu server installation one of the easiest you'll ever experience.